Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five lit a fire under me at a age 19 or 20 or something that I wasn't studying to be a musician, but all of my friends were. Yeah. And by proximity, I was exposed to their musical journeys. And then I, something when I heard Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, I was like, hmm, I think I might be able to do this. Like it was so arousing to me, yeah. that vocal style. You know, just talking about your street life and your, your, your people, and that I had no idea that it was going to end up in a, in my own art form. Um, that was all quite accidental. And the '80s, oddly enough, were a very prolific time for funk music. There was all kinds of weird hybrid funk going on. And I wasn't thinking, oh, I, I need to learn about this because one day I'm going to be able to apply it. It's yeah. just like you're a sponge and you soak it up. You absorb and everything. It finally got suggested, you know, why don't you let Anthony try a song? And everybody that was already playing music in it, why would we let him try a song? He doesn't, he's not a musician. Right. Well, just maybe he's got something to say. Right. And so they kind of agreed. They conceded. They capitulated. They bowed down to this suggestion and, uh, and that's what started our band. So yeah, I kind of Grandmaster Flash was was gave me the green light to uh, to go for open it, yeah. my mouth. Yeah.